Well, hello there, guys. My name is PK Halford, and welcome back to our uh, Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke challenge. At the time of this recording, it is 1:50 in the morning on Friday night. The uh, I guess technically morning before the day where I'm supposed to be releasing this video out to all you guys, and uh, I'm not one to lie. I'm a little bit drunk. Got my uh, can of Labatt's Light here. I've got the recorder running. I got uh, the uh, fucking video recording running. And right now, this is Route 16, which is just uh, a little bit west of Celadon City. I figured since uh, we were right here, and fucking Disappoint could cut down the tree for us, that we would try and catch a new Pokemon before we head over to fucking Lavender Town and try to uh, beat the Pokemon Tower with the Silph Scope. And that's Rattata, which we've had before. If you guys have been following the uh, Nuzlocke so far, you'll know that we had fucking Slab the Rattata, and uh, it got fucked up right good and early into the playthrough, so there is no chance we're catching this son of a bitch. So we'll uh, knock its punk ass out, and then get us something new, and uh, Jesus Christ, Rattata! The fuck, man? Wow. It's way more damage than it had any fucking right to do. That was just stupid. Just fucking stupid. Um, so we're gonna throw Monty in front now. See if he has any better luck catching us a Pokemon. <laughs> Doe Duo. The Sideshow Freak itself. Okay, cool. Well, that's what we're fucking getting. This is our, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Had to take a swig of my beer. This is the one Pokemon we get a chance to try and catch. It's flying type, right? So ground moves won't do any good. Let's hope Slash doesn't fucking kill it right off the bat, huh? Oh! Good. Um. Fuck! Ah, uh, okay, well, um. No Pokemon for us, I guess. We're going to Lavender Town! <laughs> oh, shit. Watch fucking Sober Me look back on this and be like, You should've fucking switched out to anything but fucking Monty and not fucking slashed it and one hit KO'd it. Well, Drunk Me says to Sober Me, If that Duduo wasn't such a punk-ass bitch, it could've taken a fucking hit and it would have survived, and therefore been worth adding to our team. Doduo was fucking unworthy, so fuck him. We'll go to the Lavender Tower and we'll get something actually worth uh, adding to our team. Uh. The fucking tea, and this punk-ass bitch has the tea, he's so fucking thirsty, and then he Gives the tea to the other guards, because apparently there wasn't enough for fucking four servings. And now we're in, uh... What city is this? Saffron? Saffron City? Yeah. So, um... Oh, there's these dickheads. The fucking rocket dickheads. All oh, the bosses will take this team in the town of Team Rocket. Fuck you. I just bent the boss over and made him my bitch. I just fucked up everybody in the game corner. I run Team no uh, I run Team Rocket now. Fucking look at me. I'm the captain now. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's the fighting dojo where I could go to and get either Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. Or I could wait until I fucking burn through 
Yeah, that big ass building there. I could wait till I burn through there because the fucking guy in there. Oh, who's this dickhead? I could wait because I get a fucking Larpus in there. And I kind of want Larpus because I don't have any fucking water types at all. Part of me wants to kind of get him on Chan because he is a fighting type, but he does get a lot of different um, type attacks. But then part of me wants Larpus just for his fucking water typeness, and he would fill a gap in my party. Uh, here's Route 6, where we caught fucking Meowth, I think it was, and all the fucking good he did for us. So that ain't nothing. We can make this fucking shortcut. Now, Saffron's kind of like the fucking crossroads, really, of the whole game. Except every fucking house is blocked off by a Team Rocket cunt right now. So we can't really accomplish much here. We could just fuck it off to Lavender Town. And then catch us aghast in there. These bastards give us anything cool? Do you give us free shit? How about you, old man? Free shit? Free shit. Come on. Give me some free shit. Fuck. Okay. No free shit. Just an empty ass room with a bunch of fucking jabrones with nothing better to do. Okay. So. Um. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go to fucking Lavender Town before you deal with any of the bullshit. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Pretty sure you're supposed to go to Lavender Town, clear out the Pokemon Tower, before you deal with any of Saffron City's bullshit. Well, we ain't fucking fighting, uh, Poliwag with Monty. Who will we fight the water Pokemon with? Billy doesn't know any fucking electric moves, does he? Oh, I've already switched him. Uh-oh. Great. You know any? He doesn't. Oh, charge. Oh, good. Charge. Such a useful fucking move. Sonic Boom, see what happens, Billy. Fuck it. Sonic Boom move again. Billy, it's time for you to earn your keep. It's time for you to start getting some levels up and become a fucking contributing member of this society of fucking Pokemon that we've got going on. Oh, good. Uh, another polywog. Yeah, get Billy out of there. He's sucking a big dick right now. Um, it's polywog's water, right? Jesus Christ, I've got... I just realized how fucking inept my team is to deal with water types. Sure, let's send Beedrill out there, because fucking we're just wasting time here otherwise. Oh, and she's almost leveled up. That's good. Fuck it up, Beedrill. Make a fucking contribution to this team besides just wasting psychic Pokemon, you butthead. Cool, almost fight. Wait, it's got a Poliwhirl tool? Does that become fucking psychic at this point? Can I fucking twin needle it? Nah, it's still just a pure water. That kind of sucks. Oh well, if I can disappoint, we'll get to level 24. That's nice. Does Cut do more? Cut does about the same. Look at you go, Beedrill, fucking making your way downtown, walking fast and shit. Ah, oh, now you're going to sleep, so fuck you. Yeah. Um, no one is really capable here. Um, fucking Barbara, I guess, who is ten levels above? You can deal with whatever he throws at you. 
fucking body slam him. Ugh. There you go. There you go. And Beedrill gets another level. Holy crap. Fucking twos almost across the board. It's a good level up. <coughs> Maybe someday, Beedrill, you will be of fucking value to us. <coughs> ah, nice. We got a fucking decent amount of cash for that. But, enough of that bullshit. Let's go to Lavender Town. We'll, uh, clear that shit out. We'll, uh, clear out that fuck-ass tower. We'll, uh, catch a Pokemon that, uh, is actually worthy of being on the team, not like that fuck-ass Doduo who we were able to one-shot because he was a little bitch. We'll fucking, uh, we'll get us a new friend that's actually worth his salt. We'll clear out the fucking Pokemon Tower and then we won't have to deal with stupid-ass Lavender Town or its bullshit or its shitty theme music ever again. And then we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll clear out some other gyms, and then we'll be at the Elite Four, and we'll fucking win this game, and everything will be just be hunky-ass fucking Dory. Yeah. That's the plan, so, uh, we'll see how that shit fucking holds up.